Here with Princeton head wrestling coach Chris Ayers as we finish up the Leadership Academy in its third year and a lot of people are raving about it now. What were your personal feelings on it? I thought it was an amazing thing and uh, I'm actually mad at myself a little bit that I hadn't done this earlier. I kind of I, I kind of equate it to wrestling. It's, you know, through my time in college I got the opportunity to go to just about every world team camp because my coach was uh, the world team coach. and. It's sort of like having the best workout partners in the world, but you're surrounded by some of the best coaches in the nation in relation to college wrestling. So uh, picking their brains and getting the opportunity to hear their stories on how they built programs was just totally amazing. And I feel like because of the academy, I'm gonna go back to my program and it will be better a lot quicker because of the things that I've learned here. So it's been so beneficial to my development. Well, it's also been with not just the big programs, not just the little programs, but uh, you guys being in the Ivy League, very specific rules and non-scholarship, that type of situation, even though you guys are in a power conference for wrestling. But how have the, the tips that you learned from uh, the, the old veteran coaches from the small schools and the big schools going to help you at your program at Princeton? Well, there was an interesting panel. It was um, the journey of wrestling, and uh, the, the people talking on that panel were Brian Smith of Missouri, um, Mark Cody of now Oklahoma and Jeff Swenson of Augsburg and their stories were so motivating to me I think each of them had less than 10 wrestlers their first year uh, that they started coaching their programs and um, I think uh, Coach Smith had some more but they were in trouble times in the Big 12 and they just really built some powerhouses I think Mark Cody struck me the most saying I started with five guys and and they became fifth in the country so for myself I took a lot from that where you can't make excuses you have your program uh, you have to figure out how to manipulate your situation to make the best of your situation I think I feel very strongly that we can become a top 10 program now you mentioned Jeff Swenson who's a longtime coach at Augsburg coached several NAIA Division three national champions what does a coach from the EIWA from maybe an outside standpoint, say, wait, what am I gonna learn from a D3 guy? What, what exactly does a guy like Swenson bring to the table? I think we're all doing the same thing. At the end of the day, our job is to um, educate and help our student athletes become the best they can be in, in wrestling and in life. And it doesn't matter what division you are, you could be teaching a youth program, I can learn something, and I do learn stuff from, from the youth coaches. Everyone brings something unique to the table, and I think their experiences, what they've seen, anything can help you and and I think Jeff really for me is motivating because you can't coach forever and I think what we need in the next step of, of, of our wrestling development is we have to put wrestlers in administrative positions um, and Jeff is a perfect example I almost wish he wasn't at Augsburg and he was at another school with wrestling to ensure that that program could be as strong as it can be and you know coach Cole talked about you know he's probably gonna get into fundraising after he's done coaching and I think I hope he's not at Cornell and he's at some school that needs some help in wrestling so I think I learned a lot from Jeff it doesn't really matter what division you are it's uh, it's all the same we're coaches we want to help kids and we want to make the best teams we can